Hello, today I'm going to bring you a story about a company in Preston, which is in Lancashire in the United Kingdom. This is from the Blackpool Gazette, and this story has been written by Laura Longworth, whom I don't know and uh, I've never heard of before I read this, uh, and she's probably never heard of me. Family-run business Preston Caravans and Motorhomes, which is based in Blackpool Road, is allowing anticoagulation practitioners to use its vehicle. Its vehicle is a Sunlight A72, and I shall post a link to the A72 so you can see it. It's an overcab uh, motorhome. It's got a lot of space uh, inside. And these practitioners will be able to go around uh, the area uh, and connect uh, to do blood tests. And so it's like a mobile staff room, if you like. So they work with uh, anticoagulation, a blood thinner, uh, warfarin. The motorhome, which is owned by Glenn and Cindy Campbell, will offer the medics a comfortable place to wash their hands and have access to a private toilet, sitting area and a kitchen and a fridge freezer as they travel around the area. By conducting these clinics away from the main hospital, the health professionals can free up space at the hospital, reduce travel time for patients and allow them to avoid going there. There are lots of people who are frightened to go to hospitals uh, now, and um, uh, which is understandable. A friend of mine was taken to hospital for an accident two days ago. I offered to go and help her uh, to go and see her and she said, no, they were not going to let you in because of the current emergency. Of course, I forgot, but uh, people are still having accidents. Uh, let's bear that in mind that other things uh, are continuing, other other health problems. It's not just the, the one. So, um, uh, Glenn and Cindy's daughter, Charlotte, 28, the company's marketing manager, added, it's amazing what nurses are doing and they're rushed off their feet. Her 25-year-old sister, Katie, who, who is the motorhome rental manager, said, I think everybody just wants to support the National Health Service and do what they can, and this is a way we can help out. The nurses can't run the clinics at the hospital as people are nervous about going there at the moment because of the, the health emergency. So they're going out to the community instead. Uh, so the, these clinics are not testing for the, uh, the current uh, virus, uh, but uh, other things just related to war firing. The motorhome will offer a vital resting space in between tests and is equipped with electricity, heating, kitchen facilities, full washroom, as well as comfortable seating. Uh, just because I didn't mention it's the it's the Sunlight A72, and you can see the film of the factory, which I did when I was there. Uh, so, um, so we've seen all the work that uh, the NHS are doing, and we want to relieve pressures. They said. So, uh, patients using uh, these clinics uh, will be contacted uh, uh, directly. Now, Mark uh, Wrigley, who's the head of medical engineering at the Blackpool Teaching Hospital, NHS Foundation Trust said, we are hugely grateful to Preston Caravans for their kind assistance during this unprecedented period. The use of this mobile van will allow our anticoagulation service to continue to run safely and effectively for patients on Wolf Arden. It is essential that we observe the rules on social distancing and the general generous use of this vehicle will make this possible. Uh, we're also indebted to Blackpool Stadium and our three local councils who have offered space for the mobile van in their car parks. This is a fine example of agencies and businesses working together for the common good. Now, uh, I shall uh, continue to actually uh, give you some stories like this uh, about how uh, motorhomes and the current health emergency are sort of going together. If uh, anybody wants to send me some stories, uh, you, my email is uh, at the uh, very last page on the YouTube it says about and you go halfway down the page and then you can see what my email is or you can send it to the uh, Facebook site I normally don't like people sending messages on Facebook because Facebook isn't very good at delivering them uh, or uh, allowing me to access them but the my Facebook site is motorhome full time and uh, you can send messages via that if you've got any stories and at the same time I'll give a quick plug for the site because during the current situation, I'm putting up lots of stories every day so people can sort of amuse themselves uh, whilst they are in uh, lockdown. And so, thanks very much for listening. And uh, if you want any more such stories, do say so. And if nobody bothers watching this one, I'll just stop doing it.